A strange tale is told in the forest of how a tall Indian named a Grey Owl, who served his country as a Highlander during the war, turned from the defense of Canada to the defense of Canada's national animal. For when Grey Owl came back from the front to the great north country of Quebec and Ontario, he found the beaver had practically disappeared from his old hunting ground. There and then, he resolved to protect and preserve the animal that had been Canada's first source of wealth. Today, his beaver colony in Prince Albert National Park, Saskatchewan, is the new world's newest wonder. Many people will remember the story, how one day, Grey Owl was working around his camp when he looked up and saw a tiny, absurd bundle of fur toddling towards him. It was a wee, lonely baby beaver. Orphaned by trappers, the unhappy baby had stumbled blindly and miserably into Grey Owl's camp. Grey Owl fed and adopted him and christened him Little Brother. And grateful Little Brother grew up in the family circle. Grey Owl always wanted the beaver to follow his normal, undomesticated life. So as beaver will be beaver, Little Brother conceded the point and built his own lodge. But he couldn't bear to be separated from his big brother, so he built his lodge inside Grey Owl's cabin. He can only spare time for a bite between loads, and then he's back again at work, cutting, hauling, plastering, and shaping his home within a home. He works without wages simply because he loves it, and he wants to be near Grey Owl to have a chat with him when he needs a breeder. Then it's just eat and run. Sorry I can't stay longer, he says, but talking won't build houses, and off he goes. Every day around noon, Grey Owl pays a social call upon his beaver friends up the lake, about a mile from his cabin. They're busy building a big dam, and Grey Owl has unique opportunities for observing their habits and methods. For they regard him as one of themselves and welcome him whenever he comes. Indeed, from their long friendship, they now recognize him as practically a beaver himself and the protector and guardian of all the clan. As he arrives, they're having a spot of lunch quietly in the cool water, nibbling contentedly at a well-deserved salad of birch bark and poplar leaves. And all the while, the babies, musky knee and musky new, romp in the stream without a care in the world. But all around him, Grey Owl sees evidence of the beaver's work. For nature's busy little engineers must finish their contract in time to provide a snug shelter for the winter months. This involves building a dam and feed raft to conserve the winter's food supply. And it means the hauling of quantities of logs, heavy logs, and branches, piece by piece. Then the beaver sets to work with that untiring energy which gave rise to the proverb, as busy as a beaver. When finished, this engineering triumph will be a hundred feet long, eight feet high, and sixteen feet thick at the base. It is packed so firmly with mud as to be almost indestructible. In this manner, the beaver dams every creek, making himself a reservoir, and sometimes a series of them in succession upstream. Then if one reservoir goes dry, he will open the others and fill it up again. For little beaver brains possess amazing foresight. Beaver industry knows no depressions, and baby beavers never starve in the safe comfort of the beaver lodge.
Now, it so happened one day that Gray Owl had to make the long trek to town to restock his pantry with supplies. Next morning, found Gray Owl on the homeward trail. Gotta get back to work. Cheerio! 